Okay, so now we're going to start talking about the power reducing formulas. So they're the next set of formulas on this uh, sheet here we've been using. So if you want to copy this formula sheet, uh, check the video description. There's a link in there. You can click that link, open this up, and print it out, follow along if you'd like. So uh, we have these power reducing formulas. Sine squared of theta equals this mass. Cosine squared of theta is that mass. Tangent squared of theta is this over here. Uh, these actually pretty much follow directly. Well, sine squared and cosine squared, these formulas, they follow directly from uh, these two, these uh, second and third double angle formulas for cosine. So it's really just a matter of rewriting this uh, equation. So let's go ahead and uh, see how that works. So we'll start with the one for sine squared. So uh, cosine of two theta equals one minus two sine squared of theta. So we established that uh, in an earlier video. So now um, so that's this formula right here, this uh, third one. Cosine of two theta is one minus two sine squared of theta. Cut off a little bit from the terrible printer. But anyway, um, now let's go ahead and add two sine squared of theta to both sides. So if we add that, that's going to be uh, two sine squared of theta plus uh, the cosine of two theta equals one. Then we'll subtract this cosine of two theta from both sides. So then we have 2 sine squared of theta equals 1 minus cosine 2 theta, so then divide everything by 2, and that's really pretty much it. Sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine of 2 theta, uh, all divided by 2. Okay. So that's uh, one formula there. Sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine of 2 theta, all divided by 2. So that's this first formula right here. Sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine 2 theta, all divided by 2. So that establishes that... Sometimes, depending on what you're doing, it might be more convenient to uh, write it uh, split up into two fractions. So, uh, like this, sine squared of theta equals that. So it might be more convenient to write it like that. Uh, these power reducing formulas, they're actually pretty useful in calculus, uh, especially the ones for sine squared and cosine squared. Um, they're pretty useful in calculus to help you simplify certain operations and the things that you might need to do. Uh, so anyway, that's one. Uh, the other one, really, uh, for cosine squared, I mean, it's pretty much almost identical just uh, with this other formula here. But just to be thorough, we will go through it. So, let's maybe use a different color. Cosine of 2 theta equals uh, 2 cosine squared of theta minus 1. So we're going to use that formula here. So let's uh, add 1 to both sides. So cosine of 2 theta plus uh, 1 equals 2 cosine squared of theta. Okay, so then uh, if we divide everything by 2, then we have cosine of 2 theta plus 1 all divided by 2 equals cosine squared of theta. And that really is pretty much it. Okay? But uh, it's more commonly written with a 1 first, just so that it's sort of uh, parallel to what's happening over here. So let's also swap the sides. So this side equals that side, so it doesn't matter which side we write first. So we'll say cosine squared of theta equals uh, 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. And again, it's just more customary to write the 1 plus, uh, to write the 1 first, uh, that all divided by 2, um, so that it looks more like this one here. Okay. So that's the uh, power reducing formula for cosine. And again, just like with this uh, sine squared one, it might be more useful to express it uh, split up into two, into two fractions. Okay, so be careful. The uh, power reducing formula for both sine squared and cosine squared, they both involve cosine of 2 theta. So the only difference really is uh, for cosine squared it's a plus sign, for sine squared it's a minus sign. But just be very careful. Even though this is a sine squared, this is still a cosine of 2 theta. So it's uh, always a cosine of 2 theta and then minus sign here, plus sign here. Okay, so um, the last one now is tangent of 2 theta and we're kind of out of room. Uh, but this one's actually going to be different. Well, first of all, so cosine squared of theta is 1 plus cosine of 2 theta all divided by 2. So that's the one we established. Uh, now we're going to look at tangent squared of theta. So we see that it kind of looks similar to this, this one and this one, right? It has that same sort of 1 and the cosine 2 theta. But what we're actually going to do is just use the fact that tangent is sine divided by cosine. So uh, let's erase all this stuff here. We don't really need it anymore, I guess. Okay, so now uh, tangent squared of theta is sine squared of theta divided by cosine squared of theta. Okay. So if we take the power reducing formulas for sine squared and cosine squared and divide them, that's going to give us the power reducing formula for uh, tangent squared. 
So uh, the formula for sine squared we just found out is uh, 1 minus cosine of 2 theta all divided by 2. That's what equals sine squared of theta. And then for uh, cosine squared of theta, that equals 1 plus cosine of 2 theta all divided by 2. Okay, so we have this fraction on top divided by this fraction on the bottom. So what that's going to be is the fraction on the top uh, multiplied by the reciprocal of the fraction on the bottom. So the reciprocal is going to be 2 over 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. Okay, so these 2's cancel, that's great. And then what we're left with is just uh, 1 minus cosine of 2 theta on top. And then 1 plus cosine of 2 theta on the bottom. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so then we have tangent squared of theta equals 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. So tangent squared of theta equals that. And that's it. That's our uh, third power reducing formula there. Tangent squared of theta is 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 1 plus cosine 2 theta. And that establishes that. And those are the power reducing formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent. And again, the ones for sine squared and cosine squared, they're pretty useful in calculus. So just a little side note there.